I'm going down the street and I see many people walking past me. Most of them on their smartphones. They are not focused on the surroundings, they are only focused in that tiny screen. Then I enter the bus and I see people on their phones. None of them is reading book and very few of them look through the window. We forgot how to be bored. We forgot how to see beautiful things outside of our smart devices. In today's video I'm going to introduce you to how to be bored again, how to get new ideas from boredom and why is boredom actually good for you. So if you are ready, let's get started. To this point you are probably wondering why should you be bored more often. You will get new ideas and you won't be distracted by your smart devices all the time. So how do you get new ideas? This exercise will probably sound stupid, but listen to me. To get new ideas, one of the best exercises is to stare at the wall for 20 minutes or more. During that time it will be very hard, but you will get a lot of new ideas and you will remember a lot of old ideas that you had before. This next step will probably be obvious to you, but I will tell you anyway. How to practice boredom? You can practice boredom when you are walking. Don't look at your smartphone, look at everything else, other people, nature, pets, buildings and so on. When you are waiting for a bus or doctor's appointment, bring your favorite book with you. When you go on dinner with your friends, tell them to put their phones on the middle of the table. The first person that pick up the phone loses and his job is to pay for the whole dinner. Being bored is boring, but sometimes that is exactly what you need. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some valuable informations that will help you in your day-to-day -day life. If you like self-improvement, please check out my other videos on that topic. I will see you in the next video. Bye.